Hey, do you like sugar? Do you like jamming it in your mouth? What if we could make it flammable? I'm Sterling versus science, and let's try to do that. So I took sorbitol, which is a uh, sweet supplement sugar. Um, and first, I just kind of wanted to burn it a little bit and test out how it actually would burn, if it would at all. And I put out my burning crucible in no specific amount. And when I tried to light it, then it doesn't do anything. It just kind of melts into this sad glob, and that's really sad. Um, so I took my trusty friend sulfuric acid and my other trusty friend uh, nitric acid, and I decided to do something about it. I loaded this plastic beaker full of ice and jammed a glass beaker inside of that. I weighed a very specific and very tedious amount of the uh, sorbitol, the sugar. Notice how careful I'm being in here. Um, and then I took a magnetic stir bar, put it in the glass beaker, focused my lens like a boss, um, made sure the <laughs> shot was great. Um, this is my first time using uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid at home, so this was a uh, first for me. Um, you'll notice it's a first because I also pour uh, this nitric acid all over my bench here. Um, don't do this at home, by the way. It will ruin the beautiful things that you've created for yourself and uh, worked so hard to do. Um, not not, not recommended. And you'll see that there's some, some uh, fuming going on from that acid because it's rapidly oxidizing my, uh, my workbench, but that's okay. So I add that nitric acid to my now cold glass beaker. That is my reaction beaker. And now I add some sulfuric acid to a separate container making sure to be very, very precise about my measurements. And I add that sulfuric acid very slowly to the nitric acid um, to make a beautiful mixture. And now I can start very, very, very slowly adding the sugar. Now you'll notice I'm being um, very tedious because I don't want this to go above like 20 Celsius or else this could actually potentially um, explode in my face. Um, and that's never something I really want to do, let alone at home, uh, where I'm supposed to be safest and where I'm supposed to feel the most comfortable. Um, you'll notice at the, at the bottom there, um, it still is like a lot of sorbitol floating on the surface, but it's kind of um, forming more of a globular shape, like it's, it's sticking together, which is super interesting. We went from a powder to now like a um, like molasses almost and it's just um it's just getting nitrated down there this is what it looks like after i dried it for a day um at like high temperatures i still have the stir bar in there because i thought that might help me dry it and you'll notice it's kind of like a, a gooey gooey solid we went from this this powdery sugar to a a solid that's like fused my stir bar into the plastic of the um of the petri dish and that's never good, but there's enough for me to um, to do something with. So I took my uh, burning mantle again, and I and I slabbed like a like a toothpaste amount you put on your toothbrush, um, and I tested out to see if it would burn. Yes, it burns. That's amazing, right? We did that. We did all that. Now I have this petri dish full of stuff, so I took it outside. I decided to punish it, punish it like I, uh, I would anything um, by burning it. I took a little paper towel in there that was covered in the uh, in the nitrated sorbitol to as kind of like a uh, initiator for this uh, whole burning process, um, and I decided to burn that as well. Uh, kind of a grand finale, if you will. Um, let's just watch this thing burn. Goodbye, Petri dish. You piece of garbage. Thankfully, I have like a whole bunch of these. And that's the end of that Petri dish. They notice that kind of like will flare up once in a while, but alas, it was... It served its purpose, and now it's gone. So I definitely learned we can nitrate things at home if we're just being careful and follow all the laboratory rules 
As always, this is Sterling vs. Science. I am so glad you've joined me. Like and subscribe if you want. If not, that's okay. I'll see you next time.